Hey, bonjour, and welcome to French 1 with Mr. McCoy. This is lesson 56, dedicated to the imperative. Now, our learning objective for this lesson is for you at the end of the lesson to be able to uh, give instructions in the form of basic commands in French. Now, up to this point, we've been using uh, the indicative mood. We've been in, in the indicative mood pretty much uh, full time. The indicative mood is uh, what we use to express uh, in a sense, reality, to state how things are, okay, the conditions that exist. It's going to be a, a different mood that we're using now. The imperative mood is what we use to uh, give commands, give orders, give instructions. So, it's going to be too tricky, okay, bear with me. Uh, but in the indicative mood, we saw, for example, in the last lesson, how to conjugate the verb prendre. So we had six forms of the verb. Okay, the je, tu, il, et on, nous, vous, il, et forms of the verb. Um, essentially, I'm thinking it'll be a little bit simpler in the imperative uh, mood. We're not going to have all these different forms of the verb. So, if you think about it, okay, if I'm here as a speaker, I'm basically have three ways of giving commands in French. We're going to have one form where I'm speaking, for example, to a peer, family member, a friend. Uh, another form where I'm speaking to more than one peer, or for, for example, somebody with whom I'm on formal terms. And then a third form where I'm going to be speaking to um, at least one other person, but making a suggestion that actually includes me. And these are going to kind of refer back to Okay, the to form, the vu form, and the new form. Okay, this should kind of make sense. So I can, again, I can speak to one person with whom I'm on familiar terms. It's like using to with somebody. I can speak to a group of people or one person with whom I'm on formal terms. That would be like using vu with a person. Or I can speak uh, to a group um, to which I belong. And again, that would be like using the new form of the verb. Okay. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I can give one person a command, like a peer, uh, more than one, or superior, or again, make a suggestion to a group that I'm in. So, what form of the verb do we use? How is it different than conjugating a verb in the uh, indicative mood? Now, for the most part, it's exactly yeah. the same. So to make a command in French, we're just going to use the, the to, the vu, or the new form of the verb that we're interested in, uh, in talking about. So just uh, again, it's the same form of the verb that we use in the uh, in the indicative. Okay, exact same for the most part. Now there are, for example, three verbs that are irregular in the imperative: avoir, être, and savoir. But we're really not worried about that right now. Okay, but I'm just throwing that out just in case somebody does see. Um, Yes, these are irregular, but uh, we can deal with those later. So, for example, what's this actually going to look like? Well, again, this should look familiar. I can say, tu prends une pizza, vous prenez une pizza, nous prenons une pizza. These sentences uh, reflect reality. We would say that these are, um, reflect the indicative mood. That subject, verb, object. Tu prends une pizza. Vous prenez une pizza. Nous prenons une pizza. Now, what is it going to look like to actually give orders? Well, again, the first stays the same. And it turns out that just like in English, when we give orders in French, we drop the subject pronoun. Okay. Keep the same form of the verb. Prends une pizza. Now we have a command. So we're going to tell one peer or friend or family member, eat a pizza. Have a pizza. Prime pizza. That's the form. Likewise, we're going to tell a group of people or superior. Okay? Somebody with whom I'm on formal terms. Have a pizza. Again, it'd be the same sentence as you're having a pizza. Vous prenez une pizza. I just dropped the subject pronoun. So now, prenez une pizza is a command. Prenez une pizza. Have a pizza. Okay? Likewise. Nous prenons une pizza. We're having a pizza. Or we're having pizza. 
Okay? It reflects reality. To turn it into a command, all I have to do is drop the subject pronoun. Do that. Now, prenons une pizza. Prenons une pizza is a command. Let's have a pizza. Prenons une pizza. So, again, to form a command, use the same form of your verb, either the to form, the vu form, or the new form, depending on who you're addressing or to whom you're addressing your command. It's the same, same thing. No subject pronoun. The same form of the verb. Now, there is one exception to that that we have to keep in mind. If we're going to use an ER verb, like parler, manger, aller, jouer. Now, when you issue a command to one person on familiar terms, that is, it's like using the to form, you drop the S. All right, so write this down. If you're using an ER verb, you're issuing a command, stating a command um, to one person, one individual, on familiar terms, that is, you're using the to form of the verb. If you're giving a command, drop the S. Okay. So it's actually going to sound the same, it's just going to be a slight difference in writing. Drop the S from the form of the verb. So to give you an example of what that looks like, for example, to joue a cart, you play cards. That's a statement of fact. It's in the indicative mood. To joue a cart, you play cards. Now to turn that into a command, again, drop the subject pronoun. But again, since it's an ER verb, drop the S. So the command, play cards, would be joue au cart. Joue au cart, no S. Likewise, tu parles français, you speak French. Uh, again, turn that into command. You're using the to form. It's an ER verb. Drop the S. Par français. Par français. There's your command form. Now again, you just do that if you're using the to form of the verb. You're issuing a command to one person on familiar terms. So, for example, if you're telling a group of people, Vous écoutez le professeur. You all are listening to the teacher. Vous écoutez le professeur. Again, that's a reflection of reality, a sentence in the indicative mood. To turn that into a command, just drop off the subject pronoun. Écoutez le professeur. Écoutez le professeur. Okay? That's directed at a group, so you don't have to mess with the ending of the verb. Écoutez le professeur. Don't drop anything off. Only if it's the two form that you're using. So, hopefully that kind of makes sense. Here are a couple of uh, items we could consider for practice. So take a second, have a good look at these uh, example sentences. Think about the verbs you'd use to um, express these actions. For example, I want to tell you, I want you to tell, for example, one person, one peer, to do some jogging. Tell one person, one peer, to have a coke. Tell one person, a peer. To play baseball. Okay. How would you tell two people to do some swimming? Tell two people to play hockey. And then how would you say, let's play soccer? Can you elaborate those commands in French? Again, keep the same forms of the verbs. Same form of the verb you use to just express or describe reality. Drop the subject pronoun, no subject pronouns. You have an ER verb is in the two form, drop the S. Keep those couple things in mind. How would you express these commands in French? So take a second, look at the list, run down your notes, pause the video, give it a shot, see what you can come up with. Alright, so if you're back, I hope you pause the video and give it a shot. Alright, if you did, this is what you should have come up with. So, for example, do some jogging, talking to one person. Do some jogging. Fade you jogging. Fade you jogging. Talking to one friend. Have a Coke. Try and Coca. Try and Coca. And talking to one person. Play baseball. Play baseball. Joue au baseball. Again, you're addressing that command of one person to drop the S. 
Jeu au baseball. Now talking to two people. Two people. Uh, do some swimming. Faites de la natation. Faites de la natation. Again to two people. Play hockey. Jouer au hockey. Jouer au hockey. And finally, let's play soccer. It's a collective. Okay. Use a new form. Jouons au foot. Jouons au foot. D'accord. Bon. Nous allons répéter ça en classe. Nous allons pratiquer avec ça en classe. Merci, comme toujours, euh, de votre attention et de votre participation. Bon courage, bonne chance et au revoir.